and welcome back to another episode of Foxy No Tales Minecraft Adventures here inside of my survival world. And I hope you've been playing the game. It's uh, It's been good fun from where I've been. I hope you've been, been enjoying it too. I'll put the winner's video on the screen just about now. And in the last episode, we went to the Woodland Mansion and we managed to get ourselves a couple of Totems of Undying. And of course, we flew all the way there with our Elytra and our Rocket Packs. Now, before we do anything else, let's go and uh, add somebody to my Tree of Life. And again, if you caught the end of the last episode, you'll have seen a creeper doing his best to blow up my Tree of Life room. And I've managed to repair it. I've put everything back together how it was. Uh, and I'm just going to have a quick check around here just to make sure there aren't any more mobs trying to take over. Maybe I need to brighten up a bit here. I'm not sure. And the person that I'm going to add to the Tree of Life today is... Ruth Fitzgerald Long, who said, Congrats, Futsy. I love the video you made. You made me happy when my bunny passed away. You have another subscriber. I'll tell my friends about you, which I thought was a really nice thing to say. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a party room because my snowman in here that I all ask you all to give names of. I completely forgot to come back and give him his name. And the name I picked that I thought was the best was Jimmy. That was suggested by Lynn Rockenback, which I thought was a really nice name. So this is Jimmy the Snowman. I've got a name tag. So can I, do I, I have to go name it on the anvil, I think. Have I got enough levels to do that? I've been uh, fixing my armor, as you can see, although I can't fix my diamond helmet because it's too expensive. So I'm gonna have to wait till that breaks and make a new one. So how do I do this? Do I just put it on there and type it in? like this Jimmy oh it only costs one so that's okay Jimmy the snowman so we'll pop that on there and then I think we can just go and go and click him with it is that how it works I don't know I don't really use name tags it's been a long time so there we go look Jimmy the snowman fantastic so this is going to be the party room uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have some sort of lights across the back here that all fl flash and light up and we use a little bit of redstone to do that and then we're going to decorate the room with uh, lots of nice colored wool now we do have quite a lot of snowballs and things in here that I don't really want to break these chests because it will just have snow everywhere so we're going to have to be careful with how we do this. So let's get cracking then. So I'll put my sugar box down. That's where all my carpet's going to be. But before we do the carpet, we need to make a few things. So let's go over to the crafting table. So we're going to need some redstone lamps. So to make redstone lamps, we need to make some uh, glowstone blocks. So two there and two there. There we go. So we get, we'll get some redstone lamps like that. And what we're going to do, uh, with, oh, we also need a couple of hoppers. So in order to make hoppers, we're going to need chests. And the reason we're going to use hoppers is this is going to give us like a, a little redstone clock. Let's put a piece of wood there. If I put a hopper facing into that piece of wood like that, and then I take this piece of wood away and I put a hopper into that hopper there. So they're both facing into each other. Then when I just drop any old block inside that hopper, it'll keep switching between them both. And then you can use a comparator to uh, to get the signals out. So I think we need a couple of these. So let's just make a couple of comparators. Then we can get cracking with a very, very simple redstone circuit. Okay, so you grab your comparator, you stick it out of the out of that hopper there and can you see it's now flashing because the the items transferring in between two of those so then i'm going to need to move these chests which is a bit annoying i don't want to do it because it's going to there's going to be snow everywhere but i'm going to have to there we go i've cleared a little bit of space there then so what we're going to do from here is we oh let's get some of our nice colored wool uh, and let's do this back wall light blue and orange and yellow why not they're nice colors so we'll just do like a any old pattern really I'm, I'm making this up as i go along we only need these middle bits here because we're going to have walls here so we'll go light blue twice uh orange in the middle and yellow there maybe so on the top of here we're going to have our redstone lamps we're going to have three like that and what we're going to do down here we put some redstone dust in front of this um comparator there why is that not flashing anymore oh i feel there's a load of snowballs in there that have fallen in that's still flashing. Now we need a couple of repeaters. So let's just get our repeaters out of our inventory quickly. We're going to have a repeater there. And that's just going to extend the signal. We'll put one repeater there like that. And that's going to turn that block off and on again. We want a repeater there. And that's going to turn that block off and on again. And then if we put another comparator here like that, that's going to turn that one off again. And what we can do is we can just change the delays on these just to give them... So, so it makes it a little bit more random like that. So that's going to give us some nice flashing lights in our party room, which I think look kind of cool. And now we can build uh, the walls and things around there. So I can now dump a load of this redstone stuff out of my pockets because I don't need that anymore. Um, and then we can get cracking with the rest of the stuff. What do you think to that? Does that look okay, do you think? 
I know this is going to be a bit awkward. We're going to get down to where the snowman is because we're going to have to move him and things like that. But, but I think I think as a pattern, that's not too bad. So if I just continue this pattern down the wall, I think this will look pretty good. Right, I'm going to have to move the snowman. Whoa, I'm putting holes in my wall. I'm going to have to move the snowman because there's a bit in the way. And I'm going to just have to put a, a random bit of wood there because that other piece just fell out the wall. But it doesn't matter. We'll let him just sort of wander around in here until uh, until we've got it all sorted. But it is going to make a bit of a mess on the floor with snow. Having said that, it might be nice having snow on the floor anyway. That might not be such a bad thing. So, yeah, I'm just going to carry on doing the pattern around the bottom of this room now and uh, until I've completely finished it. Jimmy's not being ever so helpful. He was standing in the way a bit, so I've had to go and get a lead to move him out of the way. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, this way. Thank you. You're getting in my way a little bit there, so we need to pop a torch down in that corner to stop anything spawning in that corner, and then I can continue with my uh, my pattern down here like this. So we've got one of those there and one of those there, and then it was just a bit of a sort of a random assortment by the door here, really. I don't know. I don't really know what the best thing to do would be. So I, I think maybe purple there and light blue there, like that, should be okay. That's pretty much the basis for our party room. I know it's very small, but it, but it's going to be okay. And a, a couple of things I'm going to do is we've got some note blocks here. So what if we put some note blocks... Um, if we get Jimmy in the corner, can we hide him behind the note blocks or is he just going to jump out of there? Come over this way, Jimmy. Um, excuse me, come on, into the corner. I want to... I want to see if I can hide you behind these note blocks so that you could be the DJ. There we go. If we put some fences on the top of those, I know it's going to... No, don't jump out. No, 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 you're the DJ. You like it in there, honestly. So if we put fences on there, do they still work? No, they don't like it when they've got a block on top. So what we can do is we can make some half slabs. That would look pretty cool. And this might work, it might not. I'm not sure. We don't want a note block there. Excuse me. You're in totally the wrong place there. And the other thing we're going to do, obviously, is we're going to need to build a jukebox because I've got a few music di discs now so we can be able to play some music. So if I put the, those there like that, is they going to work now? No, they still don't work. That's a bit annoying. But we can't see Jimmy. And, uh, yeah, it, it's not ideal. So what if we put those there like that? That should stop him jumping out, shouldn't it? If we, if we break those away like that, he shouldn't be able to jump out now. There we go. That's better. That's kind of cool. Now, can you put carpet on the top? Will that will that be any good if we've got carpet on the top? Can we do that? No, that break, that blocks it as well. So we can't put carpet on the top of there. Right, this might look a little bit weird because these colours don't exactly go together very well. But let's let's see if we can do sort of a similar kind of pattern with these. Then let's see see what we can get here. Does that look any good? I don't I don't really like this middle bit. What can we put there? Let's put the pinks in the middle, and then we've got there we go. That's a nicer assortment of colours. That's that's okay. Um, so now we need a jukebox. So I believe I I don't think I've ever made a jukebox in Minecraft before. So let's let's see how we do it so it's uh i think it's just wood around the outside with a diamond in the middle yes it is a jukebox there we go so we can pop our jukebox down somewhere let's stick our jukebox down in fact let's get rid of one of these uh, boxes there we'll put our jukebox down there and jimmy can control the music and let's just go and get a few of our music discs that i've got now i've got about six six music discs i think seven no six but they're all the same look i've got cat and i've got 13 and that's it i don't have any others so we need to put these in a in a chest near jimmy so we'll grab a chest and we'll stick those uh, near him so he's got access to those so where can we put this chest what if we put it above his head then he can reach it from up there um will i be able to still open it if we put it on that block there there we go he can uh, he can get that there and we can put those music discs in there it's a little bit tricky to access but if we get number let's get cat and let's give that a go Wow, I like it. I like it so far. So, um, torches then. We can't can't put one there. We can put one there and there just to brighten the room up a little bit. And then we need to get the chests back in here somehow. How are we going to do that? Are we going to put the chests in here? I really wanted to put these banners in here as well, which I got from the uh, wood, the Woodland Mansion. So why don't we do that like that? That looks kind of cool because they're, they're kind of funky. They've got nice suns on. Uh, and let's, let's think about putting these chests full of snow back in them. What if we put... If we put half slabs up there like that, we can put a chest in there. That doesn't look too bad. We'll do the same on this side, so it's exactly opposite. And we just need uh, we just need one. Uh, how many more chests have we got? Oh, we got we need another big one and another small one. I don't think we'll fit all of those in here. We can put one there. We can't get one the other side because Jimmy's in the way. Um, and we could perhaps put a, a small one here like this if we do the same thing there just block that up there and uh we can put another couple there 
like that maybe so yeah i think this is quite cool it's a, a functional snowman party room I, i'm pretty happy with it so far so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to fill the chest back up and uh yeah that's probably going to just about do us for the day i reckon right then so i've had a tidy up i've got rid of everything i've put all the snow back in the uh in the right places in here and i'm, I'm pretty happy with it i'm really happy with the uh, the party room i think it's great and i think jimmy the snowman's going to really enjoy being in here because he can play he can play his music and he can put his music discs in and he can yeah he can just have a great time so uh yeah that's about it so i'm just going to quickly show you what we're going to be doing in the next episode uh in the next episode i've got i've got some big plans coming up soon but in order to to make those big plans work i'm gonna have to do some shifting about and one of the things we're gonna have to move is gonna have to get rid of this tree farm here and we're gonna have to move bandit because bandit the horse is right in the way and he's got a he's got a friend Hello, have you got a new friend, Bandit? Oh, look, it's a, it's a, it's an armored zombie villager's come to help you out. Yeah, so uh, Bandit and uh, his zombie villager, or not his zombie villager anymore, but yeah, Bandit's going to be moving. We're going to be moving him into a, a new stable over there. So that's going to take up the next video. Then after that, we're going to get rid of this tree farm. We're going to use this big space here for uh, something that I think is going to be pretty cool. But I'm not going to let you know what it is just yet because you never know; it might not happen. But yeah, in the future, in the few episodes' time, you will hopefully see what's going on but that is it for today i'm afraid so i would like to say as usual a very very quickly run back to my room i don't know why i need to go to my room to end it but i would like to say as usual thank you all very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you join me in the next one see you soon bye thank you for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it here's another one you might like and if you don't fancy that one why don't you go to my channel page and see what else there is there you can find all of my videos and playlists so you can watch a video whenever you want and don't forget you can also subscribe to get notified whenever i release a new video so you never miss out on anything